I'm Dr. Stephen Cassavy. I'm a thoracic surgeon at the Mayo Clinic. I'm going to talk to you today about achalasia. It's a disorder of swallowing that uh, affects about 1 in 100,000 people. There's been a number of treatments, treatment options available for uh, achalasia and uh, we'll go through those right now in a stepwise fashion. From a medical or medication standpoint, a number of different medications have been tried, but to be frank, they have not had very good effect. Their value is marginal and really they're only used as a last resort in patients who cannot tolerate other treatment options. Botox has been used as a as a muscle relaxant in order to try and relax that lower esoph esophageal sphincter and that's injected endoscopically into the muscle of the lower esophagus to help relax it, keep it in a relaxed state. There are two downsides to that in that one, uh, it leaves that muscle open and uh, allows for uh, reflux to occur as well as the fact that it tends to, the Botox treatments tend to wear off with only about 50% effectiveness at six months. The next option would be dilation, endoscopic dilation, where a tube is passed down and a balloon is used to break the fibers uh, in the lower esophagus. That has a little bit of better success rate, uh, ranging of about 25% failure at six months. It avoids an operation, but it's not as definitive as the surgical option. The surgical option now in, in uh, the modern day and age is done minimally invasively through a laparoscopic approach, through five small incisions in the belly, where the uh, lower esophageal sphincter muscle is opened under direct vision to allow the, that uh, lower obstruction to be released. None of these treatments give you back the conveyor belt action of the esophagus, but what they do do is release that obstruction of the lower esophageal sphincter, which doesn't relax in patients with achalasia. The other advantage of the laparoscopic myotomy done surgically is the ability to provide an anti-reflux procedure as an adjunct. Usually a partial anti-reflux procedure, either a door procedure, which is an anterior partial uh, fundoplication or a toupee procedure which is a posterior partial fundoplication is added to what is called a Heller myotomy or a cutting of the lower esophageal sphincter muscle. Patients are usually in the hospital for one or two days and they and they uh, go back to swallowing normally relatively quickly thereafter. Patients with achalasia will not have the uh, conveyor belt action of the esophagus they will uh, always need gravity to help food down. But now with that lower esophageal sphincter tone released and that obstruction at the lower esophagus released, patients do uh, sense almost immediately a uh, relief and, a, and an ease in their swallowing uh, ability. The different options will uh, um, be important to different patient situations and it's important to understand all of your options going in uh, to, to this kind of treatment.